Hi guys, well it's been pretty much abandoned as an election gimmick, but it was good to see Tory legal migration minister Tom Persglove held to account over this by Sophie Ridge. She asked about the numbers of people who are expected to go to Rwanda if the Tories get back into power, and the current backlog. The reporter correctly pointed out that there are tens of thousands of people currently waiting for their claim to be processed, but Tom just kept repeating the same old stuff about deterrence and voting for the Conservative Party. Have a listen. Let's talk about uh, immigration, shall we? Because your record after 14 years on immigration uh, and getting it down to the levels that the Conservative Party and many of your voters to be comfortable with has been, frankly, pretty poor. You know, it's been nice weather recently, so we've seen lots of people arriving on small boats, over 13,000 this year alone. Every one of these people, as far as I can tell, joins the queue to go to Rwanda. So how, how many people are in the queue now to be deported to Rwanda? So the scheme in relation to Rwanda is an uncapped scheme. Um, the last sort of set of... It's not uncapped. What the hell are you talking about? Rwanda have already said that they can take a maximum number of people. So it's not uncapped. And we're talking about maybe hundreds of people per year. So that's not uncapped. The figures that I saw was that there are 85,000 asylum claims that are still not decided. But the point is that so, so, need so, just, just, to be, just, just to be clear, so that means that effectively 85,000 people are kind of in the queue to go to Rwanda. But effectively. consider it number of those people will be eligible for relocation to Rwanda. Now, but I would argue you need a deterrent in order I'm just to, trying to get a my credible head around answer this. on illegal migration. I, I just, I'm just trying to get my head around this. And that's on the ballot you know, paper Tens of thousands of people, you know, none of them can have their asylum claim processed under the scheme until they get to Rwanda. So what, they're just kind of sitting in taxpayer-funded accommodation until that happens? I mean, the Public Accounts Committee reckons Rwanda will cost half a billion pounds, average cost of a new hospital, by the way. But that's not to send, you know, 85,000 people to Rwanda. That's to send a maximum of, of what, 5,700 people? I just can't get my head around this. It, it, it feels ridiculous. Well, what do we know? We know that deterrence work. When you look at the targeted work no, we've done with our bank... tens no, of no, thousands of people... But, but let me unpack the sent point, to be, Sophie, because... When uh, am I, have I got this wrong? No, the point is that the Rwanda policy itself, through the deterrent should help us to put out of business those evil criminal gangs. Now, what the Labour Party keep talking about are That's things not we're what I'm already asking. I'm asking about the number of people you who are currently it. waiting to be sent to Rwanda to have their claims processed, and basically we're all paying for that. Well, the answer to that is people should vote Conservative on Thursday. <laughs> God. The answer to that is that people should vote for the Conservatives on Thursday. This policy doesn't make any sense. So Rwanda have said that they can take a maximum number of people per year. The Tories have about 85,000, it seems, of 85,000 people waiting to have their claim processed. Now, the Tories have said what they're going to do is they're going to send people to Rwanda to have their claim processed. They're not actually going to process the claims in Britain, it seems. But on the other hand, they're saying anyone who arrives will, have, will be automatically sent to Rwanda, but that's not happening either. And... Even if they were to try and send everywhere, like how are you going to send 85,000 people to Rwanda if Rwanda, first of all, said that there is a cap and you don't have any flights available? The only, you've only sent well, one or two people and both of those have been volunteers. One guy anyway, and that guy was a volunteer. He decided, yeah, I'll go. Here's, here's 3,000 pounds, go to Rwanda. Sure, I'll do that. And now he's gone missing. The policy is not designed to work. It's a gimmick. As soon as you ask a few questions about it, it all falls apart. And Tom, who's probably going to lose his seat at the election, doesn't care really about answering questions because he won't be around to deal with the fallout. See, even if the Conservatives got back into power, which hopefully that doesn't happen, the Rwanda policy is not going to work. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever because they're saying it's a deterrent. But what about the thousands of people who are currently in the country? It's not a deterrent to them because they're already in the country. So you're going to, allegedly, you're going to send those people to Rwanda to be processed. And then if they're successful, they stay in Rwanda. If they're unsuccessful, then they're Rwanda's problem. It's, it's not designed to make sense. It's designed to pander to the worst people in society. And it's already falling apart. Well, it fell apart a long time ago, but now it's falling apart right before the election. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.